So your suspicions have finally been confirmed. Those tires you've been replacing are way too often. It's not just your imagination or driving style. Quick Fit's massive 2025 study just revealed the Tesla Model 3 tops the charts for premature tire replacements across 54 UK areas. Owners need new rubber up to 10 times more frequently than average. And yes, you heard that right, 10 times more often. But is this just about Tesla's weight and instant talk, or is there something the company isn't telling Tesla owners? I'll be honest with you, the real story might be bigger than just Tesla. It could be a glimpse into the future for all EV owners. So let me show you why this matters for everyone in the electric revolution. You see, QuickFit's 2025 maintenance index is a goldmine of real-world data analysing millions of tyre replacements across their 600 plus UK centres. This isn't even speculation anymore. This is hard evidence of what Tesla owners have been complaining about in forums for years. You see, the Model 3 dominated the rankings in 54 areas, with the Model Y leading in another 16 regions. That's 70 areas where Tesla vehicles are the most likely to need new tires. So let's break down what's actually happening to your expensive rubber and why your wallet might be feeling lighter than expected. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. It must be those lead-footed Tesla drivers showing off that instant acceleration. And while that's part of the story, there's much more happening here. You see, what I found is the typical Tesla tire lasts just 15,000 to 30,000 miles compared to 40,000 to 60,000 miles for conventional vehicles. And that's potentially half the lifespan. This isn't just disappointing, it's a significant hidden cost of Tesla ownership that prospective buyers rarely factor in. You know what, the EV industry hasn't really been that forthcoming about this aspect of ownership. After all, who wants to advertise buy our amazing electric car, oh, and budget for twice as many tire changes. So what's actually causing this accelerated wear? There are five critical factors at play here and understanding them will help you make smarter decisions about your EV ownership. First, weight matters a lot. Tesla vehicles are substantially heavier than comparable petrol cars due to the massive battery packs. A Model 3 weighs around 1,600 kilograms versus 1,400 kilograms for a similar size combustion vehicle. That's 200 extra kilograms constantly pressing down on your tires with every rotation. And physics doesn't care about your zero emission credentials. Mass is mass and it wears down on the rubber. Second, oof, that instant torque that you love. And this is the feature that Tesla owners can't stop bragging about puts tremendous stress on your tires. You see, when you floor a Model 3 performance to hit zero to 60 in just over three seconds, you, you're essentially grinding rubber into asphalt. It's, you know what, it's incredibly fun, <laughs> no doubt about it, but your tires are sacrificing themselves for your enjoyment. And third, those high performance tires with softer compounds for better grip, they're designed to wear out faster even on conventional vehicles. And Tesla frequently chooses these performance oriented tires as standard equipment because they complement the driving dynamics that Tesla owners actually expect. Now, the Michelin Pro Sport 4 acoustic tires found on many Teslas are phenomenal for handling but notorious for their shorter lifespan. Fourth, many Tesla vehicles come from the factory with alignment settings that favour handling over longevity. The excessive negative camber that helps your Model 3 corner like it's on rails is also wearing out the inner edges of your tires prematurely. This is especially problematic because this wear pattern isn't immediately visible when you glance at your tires. You might think they're fine until a mechanic puts your car up on the lift. Fifth, and this is something many people overlook, regenerative braking changes the weight distribution and stress patterns on your tires compared to conventional tires. Regenerative braking changes the weight distribution and stress patterns on your tires compared to conventional vehicles. See, what happens is your Tesla's weight shifts differently during deceleration, creating a unique wear pattern that conventional tire designs might not be optimized for. And quick fix data revealed something truly startling. You see, in Enfield, Tesla Model 3s were 9.4 times more likely than average to need new tires. And that's not just a slight increase, it's a fundamental difference in wear patterns. 
And here's where it gets even more interesting. The data shows regional variations that hint at additional factors beyond just vehicle design. Areas with more highway driving versus city driving showed different rates of tire wear. So you've got things like climate conditions, road quality, and even typical driving patterns in different regions seem to influence the lifespan of Tesla tires. This suggests with the right conditions and driving habits, you might be able to mitigate some of these issues, but you can't eliminate them entirely because they're inherent to the EV design. So let me share some real world experiences that might sound painfully familiar to some of you. Just imagine the frustration of spending £650 on a new set of Michelin Pro Sport 4 acoustic tyres, only to find them balding at 18,000 miles. Now that's the reality one Tesla owner faced despite careful driving. And another Model S owner replaced all four tyres at just 18,300 miles, calling the wear unusually quick despite conservative driving habits. Now, I'm going to be honest, these aren't isolated incidents. The forums are full of similar stories from disappointed owners who expected better longevity from their premium vehicles. The emotional roller coaster is real. Excitement about your eco friendly purchase and joy at the performance, then shock at the maintenance cost, followed by resignation as you realize this is simply part of the EV experience. And many owners report feeling blindsided by this hidden cost that wasn't mentioned in any glowing Tesla reviews they watched before they purchased. And this isn't just an inconvenience. It's a significant ownership cost that affects the overall value and proposition of electric vehicles. And over a five year period, a Tesla owner might need two to three times more tire replacements than expected, which is potentially adding thousands to their total cost of ownership. Now for the electric vehicle industry, addressing this challenge is crucial as EV adoption accelerates. And mainstream buyers who aren't early adopters or tech enthusiasts might be less willing to accept these additional costs, especially as the market moves beyond the early adopter phase. You see, tire manufacturers are slowly responding with EV specific designs that promise better durability, but the physics fundamentals remain challenging. You've got companies like Continental and Nokian are leading the charge with specialized compounds that balance the, the competing demands of grip, noise, and longevity for electric vehicles. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the evidence is clear. Tesla tires were significantly faster than conventional vehicles with quick fix data confirming what owners have already suspected for years. But what I will say guys, this isn't just a Tesla issue. It's fundamentally about electric vehicles as a category. The same physics apply whether you're driving a Tesla, a Kia EV6, or even a Hyundai Ioniq 5. All EVs share the same key characteristics. Heavier weight from battery packs and instant torque delivery. The Tesla Model 3 tops quick fits list largely because it's been the UK's most popular electric car. As more EVs hit the roads, we'll likely see brands like Kia, Hyundai, and even MG joining in these rankings for the exact same reasons. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this isn't about pointing fingers at Tesla. It's about understanding the trade-offs involved in the electric revolution. Faster tire wear is simply one of the costs of moving away from combustion engines, just like range anxiety or longer refueling times. And you see, the question isn't whether these issues exist, but whether the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. And while electric vehicles will always create more tire wear than conventional vehicles due to their inherent design, being informed allows you to make smarter decisions. You see, by maintaining proper tire pressure, ensuring correct wheel alignment and rotating tires regularly, and considering longer lasting alternatives like Continental Pure Contact or Nokian One, you can potentially extend your EV tire lifespan regardless of the brand that you drive. Now look, I'm gonna be honest, these aren't perfect solutions, but they, but they can help you manage the inevitable. The performance and instant acceleration of EVs are part of what makes them so special. Just be prepared for the maintenance costs that come with them. And as the saying goes, you can have your cake, but you might have to buy new tires more often to eat it. So do you wanna stay ahead of the EV curve? Every Thursday, I send out a comprehensive analysis of the week's biggest developments in the electric vehicle space. From breaking technical innovations to market movements that matter, the Electric Oracle Weekly delivers the insights you need straight to your inbox. It's free, 
it's focused, and it's made for people who want to understand where the industry is really heading. You'll find the sign up link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe for more EV insights that the manufacturers won't tell you. Hit the notification bell to catch next week's analysis of the real world range figures across all electric vehicle models. Guys, my name's Dez. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.